Oh, that's well done. That is extremely well done. Well, the Indians on fire. That is terrific cricket. Forward short leg and the wicket keeper getting into the act. Well, you don't see this very often. This is brilliant cricket. Just a really quick thinking, good hands. The short leg fielder made this. Batsman going down the pitch. Look at that. Picks it up quick, chips it in. Oh, that's brilliant cricket. You can see that as many times as you want. And that is really alertness on. It's Yuvraj Singh with a flat, almost underarm throw. Don't he palms it onto the stumps? Or did he knock the stumps off with his hand? Let's have a close look at this. This is a big moment. Did the ball ever hit the stumps? That angle we don't know. Certainly his hand hits the stumps. We need another angle to work out whether the ball makes contact with the stumps. Yes, I think it did. I think it did, didn't it? It changed, it changed direction off the stump. Chance of a run out, Mohamed Kaf, and it's it! What a vital breakthrough for India. Terrific piece of fielding from Mohamed Kaf. Crowds have lost Shahid Afridi. Well, this is a big wicket. Played straight to Kaf. Kaf had time to line it up, but he had to hit. And he did. Being brought back, five overs for 19. Directed. He doesn't miss too often, Yuvraj Singh. We've already had one run out. And there's another. That little bit of spin for a boundary. That's a good effort there by Was. He's gone for it again and one bounce to mid-wicket. This will hit the stumps if he is. He's out. Yes, he's got to have him. He must be out. Yes, he's given him. That's a magnificent bit of fielding. Well, what a great fielder he is. Mohammed Asmadun has picked it up, lined up by man who constantly practices hitting at the stumps, throwing at the stumps. It is the Indian captain, Mohammed Azaruddin. He practices hours on end, trying to hit uh, just one stump. And he's managed to hit it at a crucial time for India and he gets that wicket of oh. now this is close a definite run out here in fact Inzamam's going to the other end and he might just be saved here but the third empire will be called for now what will be interesting to see is when the ball hit the stumps on the full it might just be a case that both the batsmen have not made their ground I didn't think either uh, batsman was in at the non-striker's end. Inzamam had moved out of his crease. I'm not sure why he hadn't gone back to his crease. Yusuf Yohana suddenly decided that he was going. Saba Karim's throw is hit. Now, one of them's got to be out. But I don't think he's called for the third umpire. Now, that's really surprising. I think Inzamam is out here. I, uh, I'm not too sure about the law, but I have a sneaking feeling that Inzamam might be the one to go. Yes, just seeing from that angle, Ian, I think I might have to change my mind because uh, you can't see Johanna really crossing Inzamam. From this angle, you feel that he's crossed him. Now, the batsmen have to cross. Now, if Johanna has crossed Inzamam and the third empire sees it, now, this will give you a clear picture. He hasn't really crossed Inzamam from this angle. His bat's still behind Inzamam's. And the ball hits the stumps there. Okay, now that you've got the problem, he flashes up the, the light, but who's going to go? In fact, the third empire will have a chat with Peter Manuel and tell him that Johanna is out. Peterson sent him back, and that's a big wicket there for England. 
Great work behind the stems from Dhoni. Great presence of mind. Paul Collingwood wanted a single and never realized that Dhoni could be quick on his feet. Picks it up, turns around. All he could see is just one wicket and hit the stumps. Bingo! That's being asked for by umpire Steve Buckner. The direct hit looked to me to be out. But we'll have to wait on the photo finish. Well, we've just been talking about uh, how the Indians uh, and the cricket supporters expect magic from Tendulkar with the bat. And when he's bowling, now as a fielder, he's worked his magic again. What a throw. From the deep mid-wicket boundary, he... Now what's happened there is his cord is a stump. It's some interest here from Tony. He thinks he's got him in some fashion and he's been given. It's not a sweet to get underway. Oh, he's caught. He's caught, but then what happened afterwards was out as well. So there's a double play. The result's the same. Jacob Boram on his way first ball again. Michael Bevan ka run out. UV name match up ne hat me kar liya. Oh, I think he's out. That was sensational from Yuvraj Singh. Tell the India turn up with these little nuggets. And really he's got the Midas touch today. That was sensational. He's got the right bounce. Got the ball in the right, right place in his hands. And on the bounce. He's got him. Tremendous work. We were mentioning him how a good catch can be. Wonderful piece of fielding. Steve Butler will call for the television replay, but the Indians are very confident. Wonderful piece of fielding from Ajay Dadeja. He is so standing in the field. They're very confident they've got him. Well, he certainly seemed to have picked the wrong man. There was a little bit of uh, hesitance over there on the part of the batsman. And it does look to me that uh, he might have not made it. Desperately close. But uh, Graham Thorpe on the way. Who constantly practices hitting at the stumps, throwing at the stumps. It is the Indian captain, Muhammad Azaruddin. He practices hours on end, trying to hit uh, just one stump. And he's managed to hit it at a crucial time for India. And he gets that wicket of... Michael Bevan had to go. And uh, he's hit them. Well, I think that's probably out. Yes, he's given. Yes, ran to the wicket keeper that time and uh, desperately stretching out and eventually lost his bat. An umpire done at square leg was given his second run out. Well, the Australians here running for everything. Norman D and Healy missed that delivery. Shane Lee, the non-striker, decided to go through with the run, but uh, Mongia wise to the occasion. Hitting the stumps direct. 258 for 7.